why do we need to make the aviation sustainable like i read that recently like you have also signed an mou with you know like uh, tata air services as well so like why are today airlines looking towards going sustainable first of all nobody goes sustainable unless they make money so all along when the global regulatory framework did not demand sustainability nobody talked about it today not only sustainability but that entire esg environmental social governance piece is so powerful that if two companies with identical balance sheets go to a banker the lending rate for the less sustainable company could be 1% higher than the more sustainable company right so sustainability is now an economic imperative that's why people are going there let's not believe that it is for altruism it is i mean everybody likes to believe it's altruistic but given a choice between the altruism and making money they would go where the money is that's why people are going there now whereas we had the solution 2009 at the lab stage when the first plane flew in 2018 for india the first global flight took place between 2006 and 2008 several global flights took place um there was no great pressure on sustainable aviation fuel it was fashionable now the aviation industry contributes only 2 to 3% of the total emissions in the world we forget that the vitrified tile and glass industry contributes the same amount we are not talking about sustainable vitrified tiles and sustainable glass yet we will at some point right because you know, imagine to make tile or glass everything is run in a furnace then you transport things which are all low density so you know the, the carbon footprint is humongous but aviation is easy it's seen as a prerogative of the rich and therefore it is an easy thing to target right somebody who can barely afford to take a bus between villages is not going to fly a plane anytime soon so the ability to load a cost on aviation allows it to be something that ought to uh, going back to the first of the sustainable development goals of no poverty aviation should self regulate its emissions because it can afford to do so right the people who can fly should be able to afford to pay and therefore the target was can those 2% of the global emissions be brought down and some very brave steps were taken by the aviation sector particularly at the 2016 international civil aviation organization meet in hanoi uh, a decision was taken that a market mechanism called carbon offsetting reduction for sustainable international aviation corsia would be put in place and corsia is now in its voluntary phase by 2027 it's in a mandatory phase everybody has to do it so an airplane flying from india to somewhere in europe an airline rather who is not compliant with the corsia requirements to reduce their emissions will end up paying you know several lakhs of rupees uh, per year just to meet the corsia obligations in terms of it won't be a penalty it will be an obligation cost so it is better that that airline starts using aviation fuel before 2027 so that's the magic date that's why we are seeing a lot of interest in india to build by both routes one is what we call hefa which is using oils and fats to make aviation fuel that's the process my team uses and the other is a process called atj alcohol to jet which at least two companies in india praj industries and indian oil are working on commercializing so we'll see multiple pathways coming back to waste carbon atoms these are different ways of using different waste carbon atoms but getting to the same aviation fuel 